Well, from the sun to the snow, because in just over two months' time, the world's best winter sports athletes will be competing for Olympic gold medals. For skiers and snowboarders, the final preparations for the biggest event on their calendar, Vancouver 2010, are well underway. Brendan Connor has this report. An eagle soars from its lofty perch north of the city of Vancouver on Canada's west coast. But this bird doesn't have the mountain skies to itself just now. As the top winter sport athletes around the world continue the countdown to the 2010 Winter Olympics, they're now putting their training into high gear. Stretch it down, stretch it down. This is the aerials discipline of the Olympic sport of freestyle skiing. Our sport is skiing 70 kilometers an hour into a four meter high jump and flying 50 feet in the air. Doing three backflips with three, four, and even five twists. So it's a pretty dynamic and crazy sport. Uh, and you know, I'm just I'm happy that I was introduced to it when I was a kid. So while the freestyle aerials athletes are flying high on their practice hill, preparations are being made just next door on an adjacent hill for a different freestyle discipline. The course workers and groomers continue to shape and sculpt the 60 to 70 moguls or small snow mounds on this course at Cypress Mountain north of Vancouver. This is where the freestyle ski competitions will be held during the 2010 Winter Olympics in February of next year. It's a 250 meter course and these mogul skiers go as fast as they can against the clock and they have to add two stylized jumps as well. It's athletic, it's technical and as a spectator sport it's impressive to watch. Jennifer Heil won Olympic gold for Canada in 2006, but recently took a year off from international competition to go to university full time. Now she's back competing and practicing with an entirely new training plan. I have an amazing team around me and I sat down with them and I asked them what they thought I had to do to be even better in 2010. So they really determined that to continue to improve I needed to make some changes in my body position. So that's what I did. And for the next Winter Olympics in 2010, a third discipline has been added under the umbrella of freestyle skiing. This is called ski cross, and it looks crazy. Ski cross is kind of like motocross on skis. It's four people racing head to head. It's kind of like a horse race. And there are jumps and bank turns. And Sounds like chaos. Lots of action. Huge potential for injury in this sport. It's all part of the game. The dynamic elements of freestyle skiing. Arms in front. It's certainly not the regular fare you see at mountain resorts, but it is certainly a spectator favorite and has been a hot ticket at past Winter Olympics, and no doubt will be again during the 2010 Games in Canada. Brendan Connor, Al Jazeera, Vancouver.